My name is Shannon Spasova. I teach Russian at Michigan State University in the Department of Linguistics and Languages. I learned Russian as a second language, just like my students are doing now. And I remember very well what it was like to go to Russia as a study abroad student. It was a wonderful, life-changing experience, but there were some situations that I found intimidating. So I have created a set of modules that I call Real Life in Russia. These modules help students to practice these common scenarios that are critical very soon after they arrive in Russia. My hope is that if they are successful early in their interactions, they will be more willing to take the linguistic risks necessary to really connect to the people around them and experience the culture that they are learning about more fully. Now I want to show you a few examples of activities in the lessons. I'm going to show you one activity from the lesson about the house. This activity asks students to get familiarized with the demofon, the way that you get into your apartment building when you live in Russia, or the way you call someone when you want to come see them. Now use the fob, it's called a tabletka, to open the door to your apartment building. Now I'll show you one example from the lesson about eating in a host family. In this activity, students have to recognize the names of ingredients and put them in the right order in order to make Russian beet soup, borsh. Сначала добавляем соль, потом мясо. Сейчас добавим лук, картошку и морковку. Самое важное для борща – свекла. Ой, какой красивый борщ! Сейчас добавим помидор, и укроп. В конце добавляем капусту. Потом наливаем борщ. Сейчас чеснок. И, конечно, мы хотим сметану. Вкусно! Приятного аппетита! In this activity, they have to watch a video about how to drink tea in the Russian style, and then they have to do it themselves on the next page. On the left, we have kipiток, which is plain hot water. On the right, we have zavarka, which is a very dark concentrate of tea. First, put some concentrate in the bottom of your teacup. Молодец! What happens if you put more of the concentrate in the cup? Ой, это чай слишком горький! This tea is too bitter. We'll pour some of the zavarka out. Now let's put some hot water in. Drag the hot water to the cup. Замечательно! Now you have a perfect cup of tea. The shopping lesson acquaints students with some things they'll have to do when they go to Russian stores. Like in a grocery store, when they have to weigh produce and print out price tags. Or at the end of the interaction with the cashier, when they have to answer her questions about whether they want bags or whether they will have change so that she can round off the change she gives back to them. Also, they'll learn about the Soviet method for buying things at the department stores, which in some stores is still in effect. In the two transportation lessons, students will use web tools to determine travel routes, see what it's like to use the machines to buy metro tickets, watch videos and think about the etiquette displayed in the videos in how to behave in public transportation, they will also become acquainted with the public transportation that is available in the city that they will study in. They also learn how to punch their ticket on the bus, as well as pay for their shuttle bus ride. They also learn that it's really important to know what to say in order to be able to get out of the bus. In the train lesson, students have to use real train signs to find out information about their train. They also have to listen to real audio from a train station in order to hear where to go, where their train is going, and what time it's leaving. Students also get to take a mock trip. They decide which city they are going to go visit, and then go on the Russian railroad website in order to buy tickets. Once they've chosen their city, they have to type in their name, and then the ticket comes out with their name on it, the city that they chose, and the right seat. This activity simulates what it's like for them to put money on their cell phone. Правильно, у вас 50 рублей. Now click on the pay button to accept payment. Спасибо.